Work is continuing in Ukraine to restore electricity to thousands of households following Russian missile and drone attacks on Saturday that badly damaged energy infrastructure. One mayor said his city's facilities had been completely destroyed. President Volodymyr Zelensky said the attacks had struck on a very wide scale, but that they would not break Ukraine's determination to resist. Let's go live to Kyiv and join our correspondent Hugo Bachega. Hugo, welcome to you. Um, with around a million and a half households now without power in the country, this is becoming a really serious situation, isn't it? Yeah, and we just had an update from the president's office saying that uh, electricity has been restored to 1.2 million households across the country. So about 200 households remain without uh, power uh, across the country after those attacks uh, yesterday targeting uh, civilian infrastructure, electricity infrastructure across the country. And this is a system that is under a lot of pressure because officials say a third of the country's power stations uh, have been hit. Uh, Russia has been attacking uh, power stations, electricity infrastructure for two weeks now. And uh, authorities are saying that uh, blackouts may happen today in several regions across the country, including here in the capital, Kyiv. So residents have been told to reduce their electricity consumption as uh, engineers try to restore uh, the system. And they say that this may take some time. But officials here say that this is uh, Russia's reaction to what's happening on the battlefield as Russia faces military setbacks. And they have accused Russia of trying to create a humanitarian crisis by attacking electricity infrastructure ahead of winter. And last night we heard from President Zelensky saying that these uh, attacks are acts of terrorism and that they will not stop the country's military. So tell us about the military situation. What progress is being made by the Ukrainians? Yeah, so we are watching what's happening in the city of Kherson, in the region of Kherson, uh, where the Ukrainian army uh, is advancing along the Dnipro River. And the city of Kherson, which is one of the largest Ukrainian cities under Russian occupation, is the main target here of this offensive by the Ukrainian army. And we heard the Russian appointed officials in the city of Kherson warning residents to leave the city immediately. They've described the situation as tense. Uh, they say that the Ukrainians are preparing a large offensive to uh, retake the city. And we heard earlier today from a spokesperson for the Ukrainian military saying that uh, Russia's uh, top units are leaving uh, the western bank of the city and only mobilized troops are remaining there. And uh, this is happening I amid mean, speculation that the Russians could be preparing uh, to pull out their troops from that part of the country. So it seems that the Ukrainians are making some advances there as there is the expectation that a large offensive may happen uh, as they try to retake Kherson, which is now in Russian hands. Okay, you go for now. Thank you.